Hi friends, I'm Michael Warren from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's do part two of 15 songs using one finger and one string. This time we're going to make it a bit harder, we'll be learning another 10 songs using one string but we'll start to use all our fingers. Before you start, make sure you've done part one, I'll put a link in the description for you. So this is the best way to take the next step after part one. We're slowly building your skills on the guitar. As usual, I'll go slowly for the beginner and at the end do a quick version of all the songs. If you enjoy this video, give me a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you're having any problems, leave a comment. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So let's go quickly over the tips from part one to refresh your memory. First, we're gonna make a puppet with our hand like a sock puppet, put it straight under the neck and straight up keeping our thumb straight so that's not off to the side at all and fingers as straight as you can to the frets. When you're new you'll find they'll go on a bit of an angle and that's all right. Make sure your wrist is down not over the top of the neck and our thumb lines up with the top of the neck or thereabouts. Don't stick your fingers out when you're playing keep them as close as possible to the strings. When we're moving our thumb moves with us so it's coming up and down we're not anchoring our thumb and just moving our fingers so our thumb is moving with us the whole time now we could still play all these songs using one finger but you won't progress so you can start playing chords and doing other harder techniques and we want each finger to be as strong as the next and the only way you can do this is by using them so why do we use more than one finger it's about economy of movement we want to move as little as possible so if I played the third fret with my first finger and then played the fifth fret, I have to move my whole hand up to get from the third to the fifth. If I just use different fingers, I can use my first finger on the third fret and then my third finger on the fifth fret. I don't have to move my hand at all. Now before we start, we're gonna number our fingers. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four. We don't include the thumb. So if I say use the first finger, we're using this one. If I say use the fourth finger, we're using our little finger. So pretty easy. Now I'll show you how to change from one note to the next. Let's take our top E string, get your pick ready on that. We're going to place our first finger on the third fret. We play that one. Then I'm going to use my third finger and I'm going to place that on the fifth fret. And when I do that, I lift my first finger off. So I've gone third fret put my third finger down, lift my first finger off, fifth fret. Now we don't always have to lift our fingers off, but for these songs we will, it's good practice. So let's do that again. First finger, third fret, we play that. Lift our finger off after we've placed our third finger down on the fifth fret, we play that, and then we come back again. I'm gonna place my first finger on the third fret and then lift my third finger off the fifth fret. So it's a good exercise just to get used to doing that before you jump into the songs. So let's have a look at that from a different angle. So as you can see, as I place one finger down, I lift the other finger off. That's going from the first finger to the third finger or the third finger to the first finger. And we do the same with all our fingers. Okay, so let's make a start on the songs. Remember while you're playing, don't stick your fingers out try and keep them as close to the strings as possible but not touching them. So the first song we'll do is Cocaine by JJ Kale. So let me play that for you then we'll break it down. So we're going to start on the A string so get your pick ready, two down from the top on the A string. This time we're going to start with our third finger, place that on the fourth fret Try and get as close to the front of the fret as you can, and we're going to play that twice. Now we're going to go to the second fret on the same string, but we're going to use our first finger this time. So we lift our third finger off, put our first finger on the second fret, and we play that once. And then back to the fourth fret, same string again, but this time with our third finger again, and play that once. And then we're going to put a stop just using the palm of our hand like we did in part one. So let's try that again. Four, four with our third finger, second fret with our first finger, back to the fourth fret with our third finger. Stop 
and then we use our first finger again back on the second fret and we play that and we hold that for four. One, two, three, four. So let's try that slowly now. Four, four, two, four, and then a stop, and then two, two, three, four. And a little bit quicker. Four, four, two, four, stop, two, two, three, four, and up to speed. Two, three, four, and again. So that gets us started with a nice easy one, just using the one string again, but now we're using our first finger and our third finger, and we don't have to slide our hand up and down the neck. So now let's try Summer Loving from the Grease soundtrack. Again, we'll be using our first and third finger, but this time on the D string. So let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. So get your pick ready on the D string, so four up from the bottom. Place your pick there. This time we're going to start with an open, we'll play that once and then put a stop. Get your first finger ready over the fifth fret, don't touch it because that's the first time we'll be fretting the neck there. So we play the open once, do a stop, then we play it again and then the fifth fret with our first finger. So open, five. So pretty easy, open, stop, open, five. Then we do another stop there, then we play five again with our first finger, and then we're going to play the seventh fret with our third finger, play that once and put a stop in there as well. So let me do that first part slowly, it's a little bit confusing this one, so open, stop, open, five, stop, five, seven, stop. So whenever we're playing the fifth fret, we're using our first finger. Whenever we're playing the seventh fret, we're using our third finger. Now the last little part, we're still on the seven, so we just go seven, five with our first finger, seven with our third finger, and five with our first finger. So let's do that slowly. Open, stop, open, five, stop, five, seven, stop, seven, five, seven, five, and finish on the open there, which is the start of the next cycle through. So let's do that a little bit quicker now. Open, stop, open, five, stop, five, seven, stop, seven, five, seven, five, open. So just take this slowly. We're now making it a little bit quicker just to get used to moving between the first finger and the third finger. Let's do that again. And open. One more time. Open. And finish with the open. So that one's a little bit harder now. We're going a little bit quicker. We've got a few more stops in there, but we're just using our first and third finger. Don't worry if this takes you a little while to get. It's okay. It's the first time we've started to use more than one finger. Okay, now let's try T and T by ACDC. Again, we'll just use our first and third finger, but this time we're gonna be on the top E string. So let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. Let's go through that now. I've shortened the whole thing. The intro is meant to be played 11 times and then the chorus four times. You can do that at home though. So this time we're gonna start with an open on the E string. So get your pick ready on the top string. We play the open. Get your first finger ready for the third fret. So just have it over the top. Don't have your hand down. We play that once and then put a stop in. And then a stop. Then we use our first finger on the third fret, play that once. Then our third finger on the fifth fret, we play that once. 
Then we go back to the third fret with our first finger, play that once. And then our third finger again on the fifth fret, play that once. And then back to our first finger on the third fret and play that once. And that's our verse, we do that 11 times. So let's do that slowly again. Open, stop, three, five, three, five, three. Using our first and third finger, and let's do that again. Open, stop, three, five, three, five, three. And up to speed, open, three, five, three, five, three. Open, stop, three, five, three, five, three. Now the next part, just before the chorus, we just go open, first finger, third fret again, three, and then third finger, fifth fret, five. So it's pretty easy. O, three, five. Now our chorus, we can play this four times. We stay on the five, we put a stop in after that last five, and then five, three, O, and we just hold that there. So we start again, third finger, fifth fret, five, first finger, third fret, three, and then O. And we can do that four times, five, three, O. And again, five, three, O. So make sure you're not putting your hand down, you're leaving it over the top of the five and the three. So each time we're ready to go on the five, five, three, O. Once we've done that four times, we put a stop in, we play the third fret again with our first finger, and then the fifth fret with our third finger. And that gives us the whole intro plus the chorus to the song. So let's play that through slowly. Open, stop. Three, five, three, five, three, and we'll do that again. Open, stop. Three, five, three, five, three, stop. And then we'll do our next part, open, three, five, stop, and now our chorus, five, three, O. And we just hold that open, and again, five, three, O. Hold it, again, five, three, O. One more time, five, three, O, and we finish, three, five, Let's do that up to speed now. That one there's not much harder, it's just a little bit longer, so there's more to remember. So again, just go slowly, build up your speed, and get used to changing between the first and the third finger. Now let's do another one, we'll do another one Bites of Dust by Queen. Again, we're going to be using our first and third finger all on the top E string. So let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. This one's quite quick, again, just go slowly. We're gonna start on the top E string again, so get your pick ready. Third finger on the fifth fret, we play that once. First finger on the third fret, we play that once. Then we go to the open, we play that once. Put a stop, again, stop, again, stop. So we're doing the stops all in a row there. Five, three, O, stop, O, stop, O, stop. Then we're going to do three opens with no stops. One, two, three. Then we take our first finger, third fret, play that one once. The open again, so just lift your finger off, don't put your hand down. And then the fifth fret with our third finger once there. So let's try that slowly. Five, three, O, oh, stop, no, stop, no, stop. 
So again, a little bit harder. We're now moving quite quick at that first part. So it makes it much easier when we're using two fingers rather than trying to slide one finger. And that's the point of using different fingers as well as trying to strengthen them. So five, three, oh. So we can do that quite quick now. That will take a bit of practice, but you'll get it. So let's try when I come around by Green Day. We'll just do the chorus on this one. This time we're gonna use our first finger and our fourth finger, our little finger. So this is the hardest one to do because our little finger is normally the weakest. So let's give that a go. I'll play it for you, then we'll break it down. Okay, so starting with our first finger on the top E string again, so get your pick ready. We're gonna place our first finger this time on the fourth fret and we're gonna play that eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pretty easy so far. Then we're gonna use our little finger. This is a hard part. We're gonna stretch that right up to the top E string. Place that on the seventh fret. Lift your first finger off again. And then we're gonna play that one there eight times again on the seventh fret. So one, two, three, four, then we go back to our first finger on the fourth fret again. So we're lifting our little finger off. First finger, fourth fret, eight times again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna finish on the seventh fret and we're just gonna play that twice. So seven, seven with our little finger. So let's try that slowly. First finger, fourth fret, eight times. One, two, three. Fourth finger, seventh fret, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First finger, fourth fret again, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two times on the seventh fret with our fourth finger again. And let's try that a little bit quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Seven. And one more time, up to speed. Now you might find that quite hard. When we're starting out, it's normally hard to get our little finger up to the top E string. But a bit of practice, you'll get it. Remember, we want all our fingers as strong as the next. So let's try You Really Got Me by The Kicks. Let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. songs we did we were staying in one position so this is going to be a little bit harder now we're going to be moving up the neck of the guitar so this time all on the E string again just using our first and third finger take your first finger place that on the first fret play that once now your third finger on the third fret play that twice and then back to your first finger on the first fret once again and then your third finger, third fret, once there. So that's our first little section and we're gonna do that four times. So let's do that slowly. One, three, three, one, three. And a little bit quicker. One, three, three, one, three. And then we can put a stop at the end of each one there. And again, one, three, three, one, three, stop. 
one three three one three stop one three three one three stop one three three one three now we're going to move up the neck so remember don't anchor your thumb that comes with us now we're going to place our first finger on the third fret and we're going to do the same pattern but we're going to be using the third and fifth fret so one time on the third fret with your first finger third finger on the fifth fret two times back to your first finger on the third fret once and then back to your third finger on the fifth fret once so you can see it's the same pattern we've just moved it up the neck so we have three five five three five and again three five five three five and we do that four times three five five three five three five five Now we're going to do another position shift, this time we're going to come all the way up to the 8th fret using the 8th fret and the 10th fret, again same pattern as before, so 1st finger on the 8th fret we play that once, 3rd finger on the 10th fret we play that twice, back to the 8th fret with your 1st finger once, and then 3rd finger 10th fret once, so let's try that slowly, 8, 10, 10, 8, 10, and we can do that four times again. 8, 10, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 10, 8, 10, and then we just finish on the 8, and we can hold that. So let's try that slowly from the start, first finger, first fret. Again. Again. One more time. One, three, three, one, three. Move all the way up. Three, five, five, three, five. Three, five, five, three, five. Three, five, five, three, five. One more time. Three, five, five, three, five. All the way up to the eighth fret. Now remember, similar to the other songs we did in part one, spot your fret. So while I'm playing three and five, I could look at the eighth fret. That way I could hit it straight away. So eight, ten, ten, eight, ten. 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 And then just finish on the eight. And one more time, up to speed. shift position shift again and then finish on the eight there I think I only did three at the end there but that's okay you can do three or four and just finish on the eight so again we've made it a little bit harder we're now using position shifts but we're all on the one string and we're just using our first and third finger. Now let's try Iron Man. This time we'll be all on the A string, but we'll be using our first, second and third fingers. So let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. again there and we also want to spot the fret like we did in part one. This time we're going to start with our first finger on the second fret on the A string. So get your pick ready there, play that once. Now we do a position shift so we move our whole hand up, first finger on the fifth fret and we play that twice. Now we're changing to our third finger on the seventh fret and we do that twice. Let's try that slowly. Two, five, five, seven, seven. Now this is a tricky part. We're going to do another position shift. Take your second finger, place that on the tenth fret. Play that once. Then your first finger on the ninth fret. Play that once. And then we do that again. Ten with our second finger. Nine with our first finger. And again, ten with our second finger. Nine with our first finger. Now we spot all the way 
back down to the fifth fret. So we're spotting our fret there. We play the fifth fret with our first finger twice, and then our third finger on the seventh fret twice. So that last little part, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 5, 5, 7, 7. So let's try that slowly. Two, five, five, seven, seven. Ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, five, five, seven, seven. And a little bit quicker. So that one's quite difficult. We're now jumping from the 10 and the 9 all the way back to the 5 with our first finger. So you finish on the 9th fret with your first finger and then we're jumping all the way back with our first finger back to the 5th fret. So one more time, up to speed. slowly build your speed on that one. Now let's try I Love Rock and Roll by Joe Jet. Again we'll be using our first and third finger all on the top E string. So we play that for you then we'll break it there. in this one as well and we're moving quite quick so we've got our position shifts again so this time we start with our open E string so get your pick ready on the E string we play the open twice get your hand ready above the third fret because that's where we'll be going next so two times on the open and a stop then another two with another stop now take your first finger place it on the third fret we play that once and then your third finger on the fifth fret and we play that twice. So we have open, open, stop, open, open, stop, three, five, five. Now we're gonna do the position shift, take your third finger, place it on the seventh fret and we do that two times. And then this is a big jump so you can spot your fret again. Third fret, first finger and we play that once. So we play that first part for you nice and slowly. Open, open, stop. Open, open, stop. Three, five, five, stop. Seven, seven, three. And again, a little bit quicker. Open, open, stop. Three, five, five, stop. Seven, seven, three. Now our next part's nearly exactly the same, the end bit changes. So we're going to do two opens again and a stop. Open, open, stop. Two opens again. Open, open, stop. First finger, third fret, we play that once. Third finger, fifth fret, we do that two times. Stop. Now we slide up to the seventh fret again with our third finger, but this time we only play it once. Back to our first finger on the third fret, we play that once. And then the open two times and a stop. The open again two times and a stop. So that second part, let's do that slowly. Open, open, stop. Open, open, stop. Three, five, five, stop. Seven, three, open, open, stop. Open, open, stop. So let's put it all together at a slow pace. So open, open, stop. Open, open, stop. Three, five, five, stop. Seven, seven, three. Open, open, stop. Open, open, stop. Three, five, five. Seven, three. Open, open, stop. Open, open, stop. Now the reason I'm using my third finger on the seventh fret is so I don't have to move as much to get back to that third fret. If I was using my first finger, which I could do, I've got to jump a lot further back rather than just using my third finger and I can just lift it up there. 
So one more time, up to speed. So again, just take your time, build your speed on that one. We've got some fast shifts again there, but just using our first and third finger. Let's do another one. Let's do You and Your Hand by Pink. This time we'll be using our first finger, our third finger, and our fourth finger, and we'll be playing on the A string. So let me play that for you. So not too hard, the hard part is using your little finger again. So this time we're going to start on the 7th fret, we're on the A string, 2 down from the top, so get your pick ready there. First finger, 7th fret, we play that once and then put a stop in. Now we're going to use our little finger again, this will be tricky when you first start, but we want to practice using our little finger. 10th fret, we play that once. Now we're going to come back to the 5th fret with our first finger, play that once. And then we're going to use our third finger for the seventh fret and we're going to play that twice. And then do a stop there. So we have seven, stop, ten, five, seven, seven. And then it just keeps repeating from that ten. So we go back to our little finger on the tenth fret again, once, back with our first finger on the fifth fret once, and our third finger on the seventh fret twice. Now there's a couple of different ways you can finger this. We're doing it this way, so that way we're getting used to using different fingers and doing position shifts. So let's do that slowly. Seven, stop. 10, five, seven, seven, stop. 10, five, seven, seven, stop. And again, 10, five, seven, seven, stop. So let's try that a little bit quicker again. 10, 5, 7, 7. 10, 5, 7, 7. And again. 10, 5, 7, 7. And one more time up to speed. Again, that one's going to be a little bit harder we're using our little finger so it's hard to stretch up to those top strings there and we're moving fairly quickly we've got a position shift as well so they are getting harder now so just take your time and practice those now let's try Mary had little lamb this time we'll be using our bottom E string and our first third and fourth fingers again so let me play that for you then we'll break it down Again, there's a few different ways we can finger this. I'll show you how I'm playing it now. So now get your pick ready on the bottom E string. Take our third finger, place it on the fourth fret, and we play that once. And then we use our first finger for the second fret, and we play that once. Then we do an open, so we just lift our first finger off. Don't put your hand down. Open one, and back to the second fret with your first finger. So our first little part, four, Two, oh, two. Now back to your third finger on the fourth fret, and we're going to play that three times. So one, two, three, and then back to your first finger on the second fret, and we play that three times. Two, three. Now we're going to do a position shift. We're going to move our first finger up to the fourth fret, play that once and then our little finger on the seventh fret and we're going to play that twice so make sure you're at the front of the fret when your little finger we don't want it to be buzzing back here so middle to front of the fret pushing fairly hard so let's try that first part again four two Now we do the position shift again, back to your third finger on the fourth fret, we play that once, four, 
second fret first finger once there, open again, first finger second fret once, third finger on the fourth fret three times, first finger second fret two times, third finger fourth fret once, first finger second fret once, and then I'll open there. So let's play the whole thing through slowly. Four, two, O, two, four, 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 two, 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 position shift. Four, seven, seven, position shift again. Four, two, O, two, four, 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 two, two, four, two, O. And a little bit quicker. speed, position shift, and again, so that last one there is the hardest one we've done, we've got position shifts, we're using our little finger, our third finger, and our first finger. Now these songs are going to be much harder than what we did in part one, so don't get disheartened. Just put a little bit more practice into it because we want to get used to using all our fingers and that'll make it easier for when you come to playing chords or power chords or doing harder techniques on the guitar. So now let's do a quick version of these songs as well. So starting with cocaine, let me play that for you then we'll go through it. And again. So we're starting on the fourth fret with our third finger, we play that two times. First finger, second fret, we play once. Third finger, fourth fret, we play once. We put a stop in there and then we use our first finger for the second fret and we hold there for a count of four. So let's do that slowly. Four, four, two, four, stop, two, two, three, four. And again, four, four, two, four, two, two, three, four. So let's do that up to speed. And again. Four, four, two, four, stop. Two, two, three, four. So that's a good one to get us started, just using the first and third finger. Now let's try Summer Loving. Let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. So this time we're on the D string, so get your pick ready there, four up from the bottom. We play the open once and then do a stop. Then we do it again. Now we're going to take our first finger, place it on the fifth fret and play that once and then put a stop in there. Then we play the fifth fret again with our first finger. Then we take our third finger, place it on the seventh fret and play that once. So we have open, stop, open, five, stop. Five, seven, stop. Now we're going to leave our third finger on the seventh fret, play that once. Back to our first finger on the fifth fret once. Seven with our third finger and five with our first finger. So that last little part, seven, five, seven, five. And then we start again back to the open. So let's do that slowly. Open, stop, open, five, stop, five, seven, stop. Seven, five, seven, five, open, and up to speed. So another fairly easy one, just using our first and third finger. Now let's try T and T, A, C, D, C. We'll go back to our top E string. Again, just using our first and third finger. So let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. Now what may 
played the part shorter. The first part plays for 11 times, their chorus does four times. So let's start now, pick on the top E string, we play the open, then we do a stop. First finger, third fret, we play that once. Third finger, fifth fret, we play that once. Back to the third fret once, fifth fret once, and third fret once. So whenever we're using the third fret, it'll be our first finger. Whenever we're using the fifth fret, it'll be our third finger. And that goes for the whole song. So our start part, open, stop, three, five, three, five, three. And if you want to play along with this song, it does it 11 times. So open, stop, three, five, three, five, three. And the part just before the chorus just does an open, three with our first finger, five with our third finger, five, and we hold that there. Now we, our chorus is just five, three, O. Oh. So third finger, fifth fret, first finger, third fret, and then the open there, and we do that four times. So five, three, O. Oh. Hold that open, and again, five, three, O, oh. and you can do that four times, and to finish the chorus off, First finger, third fret, third finger, fifth fret, and that gives us the whole song there. So let's start that again, let's just go slowly. Open, stop, three, five, three, five, three, open, stop, three, five, three, five, three, open, next part, three, five, our chorus, five, three, open, and again, five, three, open, and to finish off, three, five. So that one's a little bit harder now. It's moving a little bit quicker, and we've got a lot to remember there. So just use a tab and go through it slowly. Now let's try another one, Bites of Dust. Let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. So again, all on the top E string, just using our first and third finger. So we'll start with our third finger on the fifth fret. Top E string, we play that once. And then we're gonna use our first finger on the third fret and we play that once. Then the open, and we put a stop. Open again, stop. Open again, stop. Then we do three opens without the stop. So that start part, five, three, Open, stop, open, stop, open, stop, and then open, open, open. First finger, third fret, one time, open. Third finger, fifth fret, one time. So let's play that through slowly. Five, three, open, stop, open, stop, open, stop, open, 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 three, open, five. And a little bit quicker. So now that's getting a little bit harder again because we're moving quite quickly at the start part using the five and the three back to the open. Now let's try another one. Let's do When I Come Around. This time we're going to be using our little finger but still on the top E string. So let me play that for you then we'll break it down. So now starting on our top E string, get your pick ready there. First finger, fourth fret, we're going to play that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now our little finger is going to be on the seventh fret, so this is quite hard when you're beginning, but we want to practice using our little finger. So we play that on the seventh fret, and we play that eight times as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the fourth fret with our first finger another eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then finish with your fourth finger on the seventh fret again, and we just play that two times. So seven, seven. So let's try that slowly. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the fourth fret. 
fret, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and finish on the seventh fret. And up to speed. Seventh fret. Fourth fret. And finish on the seventh. So that one's going to be harder now because we're using our little finger, and normally when you're beginning, it's hard to get your little finger up to the top of the string, but a bit of practice, you'll get there. So now let's try, you've really got me, let me play it for you, then we'll break it down. songs we did we didn't do any position shifts we weren't moving our hand up so this is the first time we'll be doing that it's not too hard so all on the top E string again using our first and third finger we're going to play first finger first fret we'll play that once then our third finger on the third fret we play that two times back to our first fret with our first finger once and then our third finger third fret once so slowly one, three, three, one, three, and we do that four times, so a little bit quicker, and again, and again, a little bit quicker. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to use a position shift. We're going to move our first finger up to the third fret, but we're going to keep the pattern exactly the same, so we play that once. Third finger, fifth fret, we play twice. Back to our first finger on the third fret once. And then our third finger, fifth fret once. So three, five, five, three, five. And we do that four times. Three, five, five, three, five. 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 So you can see we're just moving that pattern up the neck. So now we've got another big position shift. We're going to come up to the 8th fret with your 1st finger. Play that once. 3rd finger, 10th fret twice. Back to our 1st finger on the 8th fret. And then our 3rd finger on the 10th fret. And we do that, you can do that 3 or 4 times again there. So 8, 10, 10, 8, 10. 8, 10, 10, 8, 10. 8, 10, 10, 8, 10. And then we just finish on the 8th there. So we play that three times at the end. First two we do four times. So let's do that nice and slowly. And again. And again. One more time. Position shift, same pattern. Position shift again. Again, we're now starting to move quick and we're starting to put position shifts in there as well. So now let's try Iron Man. Let me play that for you. It'll be on the A string, but this time we're going to use our first, second, and third finger. So let me play that for you. starting with our first finger on the second fret on the A string so get your pick ready there we play that once now we're going to move our first finger up to the fifth fret remember don't slide it up just lift it off slightly push the pressure back down on the fifth fret with our first finger play that two times then our third finger on the seventh fret we do that two times now we're going to do another position shift this time we're on our second finger on the 10th fret. We play that once, 
first finger on the ninth fret we play once. Do that again, 10, 9, and again, 10, 9. Back to the fifth fret with our first finger, we play that twice. And then the seventh fret with our third finger, we play that twice. So remember to spot your frets like we did in part one. So let's try that slowly. Two, five, five, seven, seven. 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 5, 5, 7, 7. And again, a little bit quicker. 2, 5, 5, 7, 7. 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 5, 5, 7, 7. And up to speed. first finger on the 5th fret and the 7th fret because that made it easier to get to the 10th fret and you can change your fingers around like that as you get better at playing these songs. So let's try I Love Rock and Roll, let me play that for you then we'll break it down. string again we're going to have a position shift but we'll just be using our first and third finger again so we play the open twice and put a stop open twice again and then another stop now first finger third fret play that once and then third finger fifth fret we play twice now we're going to take our third finger we're going to move that up to the seventh fret so that's our position shift we're going to play that twice Back to our first finger on the third fret, play that once. So that first part, going slowly, open, open, stop, open, open, stop, three, five, five, seven, seven, three. Now our next part's nearly exactly the same. We have open, open, stop, open, open, stop, three, five, five, seven, three, open, open, stop, open, open, stop. And we're using the same fingers as we did for the first part. So let's play that whole thing slowly now. Open, open, stop, open, open, stop. Three, five, five, seven, seven, three, open, open, stop, open, open, stop. Three, five, five, seven, three, Open, open, stop, open, open, stop, and up to speed. And to finish. So we get a little bit harder, we've got that position shift and we're jumping quickly from the seventh fret back to the third fret. So now let's try You and Your Hand by Pink. Let me play that for you. So this time we're on the A string, so get your pick ready there. We'll be using our first, third and fourth fingers on this one. So starting on the seventh fret with your first finger, we play that once and stop. Now we've got our little finger up to the 10th fret, we play that once. Now our position shift, we're coming back to the 5th fret with our first finger, play that once. And then 3rd finger, 7th fret, we play that twice. And then we just keep repeating that 10, 5, 7, 7. So going through that slowly, 7, stop. 10, 5, 7, 7, stop. And the 10 again. 10, 5, 7. Seven, seven, stop, and one more time. Ten, five, seven, seven, stop. So let's try that again, just a little bit quicker. The ten, the ten again. One more time in the ten. Now let's try that up to speed. Ten. And one more time in the 
rotated. So again, that one's going to be a little bit harder. Same as part one, try and spot your frets again using our little finger, which is always difficult when you first start doing that. So let's do one more. Let's do Mary Had a Little Lamb, bottom E string this time, using our first, third, and fourth fingers. Let me play that for you, then we'll break it down. So this time we're starting with our third finger on the fourth fret, we play that once. First finger, second fret, we play once. Open, and then back to our first finger, second fret. We're going to use our third finger on the fourth fret, and we play that three times. Back to our first finger on the second fret, three times. Now we're going to do a position shift. We're going to move our first finger up to the fourth fret, play that once. And then our fourth finger on the seventh fret, we play twice. Now we do a position shift again. We're back to our third finger on the fourth fret. We play that once. First finger, second fret. Open, first finger, second fret. Third finger, fourth fret. We do that three times. Two times with our first finger, second fret. Third finger, fourth fret, once. Second finger, sorry, second fret, first finger once, and then open. So let's try that slowly. Four, two, O, two, four, 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 two, two, two. Position shift. Four, seven, seven. Back to the four. Four, two, O, two, four, 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 two, two, four, two. One more time up to speed. Position shift. Don't expect to be able to play these fast straight away. They will take some practice, so just go slowly and build your speed. If you're having any problems, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you soon.